On a prime piece of real estate in downtown Austin, food trailers have popped up where a thousand room hotel was supposed to be built by now. It's the 200 block of Congress, the heart of downtown, and you recall that's where the owners of Las Manitas restaurant were forced to close two years ago to make room for that Marriott Hotel. But the hotel never came, and now new places to eat have popped up on that property. Shannon Wolfson live with the new developments tonight. Shannon? Robert, it doesn't get much more central than Second and Congress. You might say this is the place to be downtown. This block is literally surrounded by office buildings and condos. But until just a few months ago, this was just an empty parking lot until the owner of the property got creative after some hard luck. Thank you very much, sir. You have a good day. Business is good. It's not the caffeine or the espresso in the drinks creating the buzz at Patico Coffee downtown. We get good traffic, and with the other trailers that are here, lunchtime get a lot, gets a lot of traffic. There's Patico, Kebabalicious, and Turf and Surf, all mobile food vendors who are taking advantage of an empty piece of pavement. I think that what we're trying to do, what a lot of the places are trying to do in terms of creating spaces where they were empty is an important part of what is interesting in Austin. A lot of people say the tenants of the building that once stood here made Austin interesting too. The owners of the Las Manitas restaurant were forced to move two years ago. The old building bulldozed to make room for a Marriott hotel. It was supposed to be Austin's second convention-style hotel, creating 600 new jobs and bringing in lots of business and tourists. Unfortunately, Austin, we just haven't had any new development since the Hilton opened in 2004, so we're losing opportunities. Roy Benier of the Convention and Visitors Bureau says the Marriott development crumbled when the economy went south. But the city is still hoping another hotel will show some interest so they don't continue to lose out on convention business. As you may know, we lost a big Dell piece of business because they had to take it to Vegas. We do not have enough hotel rooms here to accommodate one of our hometown businesses that would have loved to have met here. But back at Patico, owner Andy Wigginton is enjoying success for as long as he can. There are other places that are less ideal. Um, I think that where we're located here is the best in terms of access to folks that want coffee. But we have looked at other spaces that we could move into if something should happen here. Now, ironically, Wigginton says some of his best customers are the former owners of Las Manitas, who also own an art gallery right here down the street. City zoning officials tell us the owner of this property recently filed for a zoning change, which would allow a hotel to be built on this property, and that may be a sign of things to come. We're live downtown tonight. Shannon Wolfson, KXAN, Austin News.